Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Pryor and in today's video, we're gonna be doing some painting. Now, I recently got into painting like a couple months ago and I'm not like, I don't know what the word is, like a certified painter or someone who knows a lot about painting. I just like to paint. This is actually one of the pieces that I painted and I also did a couple other pieces. I'm gonna be showing y'all that as well. We're pretty much gonna go to the store, get a canvas and paint something new today. Then I'm gonna be doing some plant care. I'm also gonna be planting some vegetables and things of sort. So we're gonna get like a mini indoor garden like going and then after all of that we're gonna settle down and we're gonna cook us some dinner for tonight i'm not sure what i want to cook yet but we'll figure it out together that's what i got y'all for i know y'all gonna tell me so oh and very 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 important i'm ran out of good luck <laughs> so first thing first we need to go to the store and get us some good luck. I can't make this video without it. Truth be told, I can't. So we're going to be doing that as well. And without further ado, let's get to it. With this painting here, I got inspiration from Pinterest. I'm in love with like universe, galaxies, and just nature, mother nature. So I seen that picture on Pinterest. I was like, I wonder if I can paint it. I went to the store and got a big canvas. I forgot what size this is, but never painted on a canvas this large before and just tried my absolute best to pretty much create the picture. And this is what I came up with. And I'm also gonna be showing y'all a few of the other pieces too. This painting right here is actually one of the very very first paintings I've ever done on a canvas and I put the initials EK on it because of my Instagram name is exquisitely Kiara. This has pretty much been like the opening to my painting journey. I went out to painting with a twist with a few friends and I really really enjoyed it and from then on I've been getting into painting. This is actually the second painting I've ever done. And I was on Pinterest, once again, I love me some Pinterest, and I was scrolling to see like, I wonder what I can paint. And I seen a picture like this and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna paint it and see what I can do. And this is the outcome of it. Guys, the good luck is officially secured. This is actually not a bad price, to be honest. And it's a pretty big bag. This is what I normally get a brand like this but for that other price we might try a new brand today most important thing on the list you know first thing we're gonna do since we're back is get some good luck in our system and just get going I never tried their vegan salted caramel chocolate chip cookies I've always just get chocolate chip but they didn't have any today so I'm like these are worse. oh my gosh these are making me so happy right now y'all these cookies are huge it's bigger than my hand, but it's all the good luck we need. Literally, it's all the good luck we need. It 
it's starting to get activated inside of me. I can feel it. This is what I'm currently working with. As y'all can see, she don't look like she's doing too well. So we got to get her back together. And she got another baby coming in right over there. Right there. She got a new baby coming in. So we got to do her right. I got to get her fixed up. I got my water can all filled up with some rainwater. I got this from Target. I forgot how much it was, but it was in like the dollar section. And all I did was put some paint on it and just put my own designs. On this side, the paint is coming off the mushroom a little bit, but we are gonna keep it on this side so y'all can see it looking nice.
right so we got her watered pretty generously with this plant you can't water it too much because the leaves will turn yellow like this one and they will start to die off so you have to water it very moderately since we did change her soil I just gave her a good watering and I'm gonna leave her for a couple of days now we're gonna go ahead and spritz her and just you know finish her out and that'll be done now her baby is covered she's in here somewhere or he it's in here somewhere but it will spring through the soil whenever it's ready to actually start you know coming through this one was the same way and it actually started to grow so i can't wait to see her new growth we're gonna check on her soon this is my other plant stand and as y'all can see it looks a little crazy so we're going to get this cleaned up i'm actually going to be transferring these plants into the soil they're both in water right now and then we want to plant uh, other vegetables and stuff but y'all look at this these are my scallions i actually got these from bj's so i used them for cooking i cut them off and i cut them until like right here put them in water and since then they've been sprouting up new scallions so we're going to actually get this transfer it to soil as well and let's get started this is the other portion of my plant stand i have an aloe plant here and i just did some freehand hearts at the bottom it has a new aloe plant springing up from right here i'm excited to see how well that grows and what we're going to do is actually wipe this whole entire stand down and get it clean before we make any changes to the plants These are the other seeds we're going to be planting today. So we're going to be planting some onions, lettuce, cilantro, and hot peppers. I am going to get more seeds, but this is what we're going to start with for now. I got these elephant ear plants from the side of my house and I just literally pulled them up and placed them in water. And since then, they've been growing some really strong roots. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer them to soil and let them grow together.
I have all of my plants taken care of and I also have my vegetables planted in here. I have my scallions here. At the very bottom, I have all of my plant care stuff and then I put my money tree down here as well. The next day. So we had a little detour. It got really late when I was doing my plants and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna finish the rest off the next day, which is now. So we're gonna make some tilapia fish. I might fry it up. And I'm also gonna do some basmati white rice, rice rice, basmati white rice, and then yeah. So let's get right into it. Get y'all chef hats. We gonna cook today. Okay, chef. Okay, let's get to it. So we're gonna start with the rice first. And I am going to just get two cups of rice, wash it, and y'all gonna see how I make it. And then we're gonna start on the tilapia last. I always put a little extra just for good luck because when you're washing your rice, a lot of the time, some of the grains just fall down into the sink. So a little good luck sprinkle. I'm gonna be cooking two cups of rice. For every one cup of rice, there's two cups of water. So I am just gonna grab two of these water bottles because one water bottle equals two cups, pretty much. There's the second cup. And as y'all can see, it's right on a one cup mark. I think the first one was a little bit over, but just four cups of water total. So I'm just gonna let that get up to a boil. And now what we're gonna do is wash our rice. It's a lot of starch and rice. That's why I like to wash it, make sure, you know, I'm getting a lot of starch out. And sometimes there's bugs in rice as well. So washing your rice is very necessary for me at least. I got this bowl from Sheen. It's like a rice washing bowl or a veggie bowl or whatever. It's like a strainer slash bowl. And I love it. I love it so much. Now my rice is washed. I like to wash my rice until the water runs clear. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some avocado oil and put it right in. I don't normally measure, but I would say it's like a tablespoon. Next, I'm gonna add in some sea salt. Now we're gonna get our rice in. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. Whenever I cook rice, I always add in bay leaves. So I'm gonna give it about two, no, actually I'm gonna do three bay leaves. Since they're pretty small, I'm gonna do like three, but if they were bigger bay leaves, I'll usually do like two. Just giving it a nice mix. I just put it on low, which is about one for this type of stove. And then I'm gonna take my lid for my pot and put some foil down first and then a lid on top. I'm gonna let it cook like this for exactly 30 minutes. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna look at it, I'm not gonna breathe on it. 
I'm just gonna let it be for 30 minutes. A few minutes later. The timer just went off for the rice, so now we're gonna check it. And it looks so good and fluffy. This is my green spice mix. It's very popular in like Caribbean cultures. You pretty much make like a epis. You blend up a lot of greens and vegetables. Well, not a lot, but quite a few of them and you make your own base. And this is what I'm gonna be putting on my fish before I actually dip it into the flour and fry it. Why are you up there, Nipsey? I have this currently heating up to 375 degrees and I did fill it up with some corn oil previously. Once it gets to the right temperature, we're gonna drop our fish in and afterwards we're gonna season our fish. Soon as it comes out, I'm gonna hit it with some garlic salt and then I'm also gonna be using some parsley. For now, I'm gonna take a plate and just place some paper towels so when a fish comes out, I can set it right on top. The green light just came on, so let's put our fish in.
previously I let y'all know like I would get inspiration from Pinterest or yeah mostly Pinterest just online trying to see something that I can do seeing if it's achievable and I feel like I should experiment more and just take my creative mind somewhere else so this is going to be our first time painting something from my mind just letting it flow seeing what I come up with I have been thinking and I want to do something that is more so universal and I am obsessed all caps with butterflies so definitely want to put some butterflies in there I was actually thinking about doing a butterfly universe where it's like different butters around and then putting like um there's what is it called I forgot what they're called the rings I might put those around like butters like we're gonna see we're gonna see it's just my mind's like processing right now so let's get to it the next day
look, you like it? You like it, Picasso? Can you say Picasso? 